Hello, this is Tolvin Tri for Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you all to an add-on called the Chaos Add-on. Um, it simulates or actually does particle explosions in Blender very easily, very quickly. If I sound different, it's just because I'm fighting off a cold, so just kind of uh excuse me for that. But I'll leave a link for the add-on in the description of this video. It's the same process when you want to install it into Blender. Once you download it onto your system, go to Edit, Preferences, Install, and then you navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto Blender. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that. And then once you've done that, you put a check in the box and that activates it. And I'm using Blender 2.81. Uh, for this tutorial. Now the developer, they've actually improved the add-on. It's got a little bit more features to it, but this is like an older version of the add-on, but it's still kind of the same principle. And once you've installed it, it's going to look like this in your on your computer. If you have the newer version of it, it'll have more options for you to use. This is like an older version of it, but still kind of the same principle. So I'm going to delete this cube here. And you have your smoke simulations here. Dynamic smoke, uh, dynamic smoke with fire. You have thick smoke and fire. And then you have different particles that you can uh, have pretty much explode in your system. Glass particles, metal, wood, so on and so forth, burning debris. And then you have different uh, directions for how you want the uh, explosion to happen, directional burst omnidirectional which is uh, pretty much like a half moon kind of a effect and the 360 ground burst which would be you know all the way around and you have options here for mixing the fuel of your of your smoke simulation smoke and fire and you can also change the velocity of the explosion the scale of it the spread uh, the particle amount emission time so on and so forth uh, you have all these options here, so I'm just going to showcase what some of these do. And then you have uh, options so we can add a plane to it. And all these, the uh, collision objects, they have uh, collision elements or uh, modifiers, or I guess you can call them elements, uh, applied to them for the plane, the cube or the cylinder. And we're going to start off with, uh, let's choose, and one thing you'll have to keep in mind is, that if you smoke any of these uh, smoke uh, smoke simulations, it's going to actually take a long time for Blender to render it out. <clears throat> Excuse me, because this is a, it's a pretty large smoke uh, smoke system smoke simulation, so it's going to take some time. So if it looks like Blender's about to crash or freeze, just you know set your system and just let it be for I don't know for me sometimes it took like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, depending upon your system, it might take less time or more time. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to uh, showcase the smoke simulations. I'm just going to stick to the particles. So I'm going to click on glass, metal shards, and wood pieces. And then I'm going to click on uh, directional burst. So it's, it's going to shoot these shards out at this angle in that direction. Once you press play, and it does a really good job of simulating that movement of the particles fairly easily, and it's just fast, very, very quick, which makes this a really nice, um, a really nice add-on to, to have and to use. Now, burning debris, that also uses a smoke simulation, so you might want to, you know, kind of be careful with that. Now... Uh, if you want to change all of this, let's say you didn't want to have glass particles or metal shards and stuff like that, you want to start from scratch, you don't want to close out Blender, the best thing to do is don't touch any of this. Because if you delete these, that will kind of mess up the add-on. So just pretty much uh, press B on your keyboard, left click and drag, and then delete. Then you can start over again. And having these particle systems here will not affect the render time of uh, your simulation because these aren't active at this time. 
Now let's click on dirt, sparks, and tree branches, and let's click on omnidirectional. And then what we're going to do now is that we're going to put uh, a ground plane below it, collision plane. Left click on that. Now it's, it's already tried to simulate an explosion, but don't worry about that. Just press S on keyboard to scale all this up. And we're going to pull this down and press play. And there you go. Now you can see, if we zoom in, you can see that the particles themselves, for some reason, they're spinning on the ground instead of just pretty much staying still. To fix that, what you're going to have to do is have your ground plane uh, activated and go to the physics properties and then click on kill, kill particles. Click on that. And we press play again. You see it just sticks. This will look better when we do a, because if you look at the bottom of it, it just shoots the particle straight into the ground, which is still fine. But we want to actually make sure that, oh, stop right there, friend, that the particles don't move. And it works best, it works best with a, a different kind of particles, uh, directional burst. So let's uh, press N on keyboard, press B, left click and drag over our emitter here, and press delete on our keyboard. And then when we scroll up, we're going to click on uh, 360 ground burst. Is that the one? Let's click, left click on that. Yeah, there it is. And then when we, when we press uh, play, see the particles drop down and they don't spin around. Yeah, and that's what, we, that's what we're wanting. That's the kind of effect that we want to have with the way the particles interact with the ground when it comes to them hitting the ground. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much the whole add-on. It's really nice, really effective, does a great job of simulating explosions inside of Blender. Once again, that's today's Blender Quick Tip. I really thank you guys who have uh, been watching the videos and hopefully it was helpful. Thank you guys for subscribing in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.